Hey YouTube, uh, this was going to be a video response to East Coast Prepper, uh, his uh, con uh, 1500 sub contest, uh, but actually I think I'm too late. Uh, I just saw a video from him not too long ago, I guess it was from yesterday, that said uh, the contest was over today. So, anyway, uh, I still wanted to do this video on uh, everyday carry items uh, at 6 o'clock here in California, so cheers. And so, yeah, I just wanted to do a video on this bag that goes everywhere with me uh, that I take my vehicle. If I'm in the car, this bag's in the car. Uh, depending on what car I drive that day, I will take the bag out of one car, put it in the other, depending on what I'm driving. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is a Max Edition uh, Condor 2 backpack. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than it was. It's kind of small and I'm actually kind of afraid of pulling all the stuff out of here because it's going to take me forever to put it back. But anyway, I wanted to share it with you guys. So on the side here, I have a uh, uh, the Matt Roly Poly Jumbo, I believe it's called. Uh, it's basically a backpack inside this uh, little roll. Uh, you can disconnect it with this hook. and. Uh, somebody else is along with you, you, know, you can give them this and transfer some of the load into it, I guess. Or it might come in handy. Otherwise, uh, on, the, uh, on the straps I have a flashlight. Uh, I don't recall what kind of flashlight this is. Got it at REI. Nice and bright. It's kind of a yellowy light. Odd color. Inside, I have this uh, Condor uh, little pouch that I have a compass in, a uh, Linsatic you know, military style compass. Uh, I think I'd get lost in my neighborhood, but you never know. Uh, and it's also inside the pouch, I have a, just a cheesy little pair of uh, 12 by 25 Tasco uh, binos. This top pouch here. Uh, I have a lot of the go to items. I have a uh, Gerber knife sharpener, a uh, sorted uh, carabiner, cigarette lighter. Cheers. Uh, what else we have in here? Uh, looks like I have a boonie hat that's all rolled up, a SOG. Uh, what is this thing? Uh, trident knife. It's kind of got that weird tiger stripe action going on. Uh, a couple of things of 550 cord, probably 10 foot length. Uh, a SOG multi tool. With all the shit attached to it. Uh, it's got a couple of different screwdrivers, a punch. Wire cutters, needle nose pliers, a knife, and a saw. Some more 550 cord. Yeah, some fire starting equipment. Uh, a little thing of matches inside a waterproof container with a striker on the bottom. More striking or matches, cigarette lighter, uh, magnesium flint, or uh, steel uh, fire starter, and uh, some of those. Fire starter, uh, uh, you know, light anywhere, basically water water resistant uh, fire starter material. In this second pocket down here, uh, let's have some medical items, some medical tape uh, again in the. Uh, Lock sack bags. Uh, inside here, I have some uh, Gold Bond medicated foot powder. Uh, if I end up walking around in the rain a lot, and uh, this will come in handy to dry my feet out walking around when your feet are wet, it just sucks. Uh, some gauze pads, uh, blood stopper uh, bandage, uh, some. Ooh, 
bad shit. Uh, some steri strips and it looks like a broken envelope or two of the benzoin tincture. See how it's all discolored like that? It means it's leaking. It smells kind of like uh, cinnamon, like almost like apple pie. It's got a really sweet smell to it. It's really sticky. Uh, one of my trauma packs with the blood stopper, the two rolls of gauze, the big roll of gauze, the antiseptic wipes, and the combine pad and some more gauze pads. I made up about a dozen of those things. Uh, a safety blanket. Uh, here, another combat tourniquet. Uh, some, some quick clot. Uh, Triangular bandage type tourniquet, uh, roll of gauze, ace bandage, and another roll of gauze. Alright, instead of move this stuff out of the way, I'll be right back. Alright, I got that stuff put back. Uh, shit, I forgot this. Oh, uh, Alright, we'll get into the uh, main compartment. Of this back. All right. Let's get a closer look here. Uh, a pair of work gloves. Uh, just standard cowhide work gloves. Uh, inside this is some water purification. Uh, it's a thing where you uh, there's uh, iodine inside this. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's little uh, iodine pellets in here, uh, you uh, pour, depending on how much water you're trying to purify, it's got a little scale on there, uh, but basically you fill up uh, the water to a specific point, uh, point on this scale and let it sit in here for a little while, and then you mix this water with the water that you're going to drink, and it purifies it. Algene bottle, one liter bottle full of water. Some extra batteries. Got some triple A's, double A's, and some lithiums. I have a Gerber. I think it's an LT2. What am I doing wrong here? LT2 knife. Uh, you saw this in my uh, bug out or uh, get home bag rather video. Uh, made in the USA. Uh, let's see, we got another one of those uh, wilderness medicine books. Uh, I love these radios, these hand crank radios, uh, weather band. Uh, it's got a little uh, solar charger as well as hand crank, uh, and a USB, and a flashlight. Haji wrap, a sugar and a mug and a whatever. Haji wrap, a uh, little watch cap, made out of fleece material. I have a pair, looks like a pair of uh, rain ponchos. This is your standard military uh, rain ponchos. A uh, heavy duty space blanket. Uh, inside this, I believe, is more medical kit items. Now, primarily the reason I would carry anything, uh, you know, like this bag wouldn't be necessarily to sustain myself for any amount of time. It would be more like to get back to the house. Uh, so in, inside here, I'm not going to go through this really in too much depth, but uh, we have uh, band-aids, burn gel, antibiotic ointment, uh, hand sanitizers, uh, some larger gauze pads, uh, a couple of sets of gloves, some various uh, medicines, uh, irrigator syringe, uh, some more pills, uh, tweezers, scissors, and some safety pins. And let's see. Down at the bottom here, I 
three pairs of socks, vacuum pack to save room. Uh, got a pound of uh, trail mix, still vacuum packed. So, a bunch of more 550 cord. And inside here, there's a pocket inside here. I have some handy wipes, uh, some Gatorade, uh, you know, thirst quencher, drink mix. Give me a little boost of energy. Uh, like a knife, a fork, and a spoon, just that I probably stole out of some MRE or might have been Colonel Sanders. Hell, I don't know. And uh, that's about it for the bag. And like I said earlier, it's a uh, Maxpedition Condor 2 backpack, um, made out of a uh, thousand Doreen or whatever the, door, whatever the fuck they call that type of nylon they make it out of, um, it's the thousand version. Uh, it's water resistant, uh, you can stand in the rain with it, nothing will get wet on the inside. The only thing I don't like about it, it's really stiff, it's kind of hard to work with. It's my only complaint about the backpack. That and it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I, I kind of expected it to be larger, but when you buy stuff online, you know, it's kind of a crapshoot. So, uh, yeah, this is stuff I leave home with and is with me every day, day in and day out. Uh, every time I leave the house, I have this bag with me. Uh, and if, you know, earthquake or some shit happens, uh, I might have to rely on this bag to at least get myself home uh, where I can uh, do what I have to do. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll check out uh, East Coast Preppers channel one more time, see if I can submit this video. Uh, good luck with your contest, uh, East Coast. If uh, you know I'm too late, oh well. Uh, I still wanted to do this video anyway. Alright guys, uh, talk to you later.